Together we are going to save all of Houston. Like, look at this. joining us now with another uh, look at the weather and you know one of the things that we were talking about this system in Elise is the fact that it's just basically just sitting overhead yes. it's not moving it's not going anywhere and it's gonna get worse before it gets better out rescues are happening non-stop flooded more than 10 feet in areas in mere hours an example of the disaster reporting from Houston Texas Harvey the most powerful hurricane to hit this state since John F Kennedy was president is now a massive tropical storm okay so um I'm gonna go to Houston tonight to help out with like the floods and everything. Yeah. You yeah. have a destination in mind then? You know, somebody waiting for you to be in a certain spot or? Uh, not really, just kind of winging it. We have a couple spots in mind that we wanna go, but Jake Thomas, Chad and I just decided we were gonna go help like as much as we could. Okay, you realize it's gonna be a safe situation for you? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we well, hopefully we'll know when to draw the line of safe and not safe. Yeah. Yeah, but there's obviously like risk at play when you do stuff like this too. Well, I'm sure the helping hands are always in need, so it'll be a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So things are happening at a very rapid rate. We just set off to begin what is packing for, I don't even know if you want to call it packing, preparing, prepping for what is a very serious mission. It's nothing short of a mission. As you guys saw in the previous video that I posted, I told you guys that we are headed into the eye of the storm. We're literally headed into Hurricane Harvey. So this I'm filming right now is filmed on the same day that I filmed that video. So we are beginning preparations to leave tonight. We need to get more camera gear, batteries, all of that good stuff for cameras. We're gonna need to get a bunch of outdoor equipment, things that we may or may not need because we simply don't know what we're gonna need. There could be a lot, it could be a little. So we're gonna prepare for the worst and hope for the best. So outdoor stores, camera stores, food rations, and really just making sure we're prepared to embark on this absolutely insane adventure. So far, who is coming along is Jake. No. We're taking the beast of a truck. Look at that snorkel. Obviously, this is a job for the Tacoma. Thomas is along for the ride, and Chad is going to be joining us as well. Guys, this is what is the preparation for a very serious mission. And guys, what's crazy about this trip is I don't even know if videos are going to be getting posted. We're gonna do everything we can, like I said, to get videos posted, but honestly, that's not the reason. The reason is to go, and yeah, we're gonna carry cameras to document this. We wanna document it because it's it's just going to be a crazy, crazy experience. And, and what we have as a group, our power that we hold, is more than just our hands and, and our words is this you guys the audience there are people out there who are watching this who are going to be able to help so not only are we going to go in there and get on the ground floor and get dirty and wet doing all of this but we're also using our platform our audience as a medium to spread awareness and help and potentially add more help to this cause which is a very serious cause so this is a very very big mission on many levels personal and then beyond us to you guys and everyone else who's going to be watching these videos who feels like they're involved and can also help in any way shape or form so let's get into it guys you guys just got here to sammy's we really don't have any ideas of what the conditions look like so i'm assuming that we're not going to be able to bring in actual big cameras like my sony and all that stuff so we're here looking at gopros well not looking at gopros literally buying more gopros i already have one i'm going to buy another and a bunch of extra batteries in case we can't recharge the old ones so we'll just have hopefully an endless supply so i'm going to get another hero 5 i'm going to get a bunch of batteries and then i think i'm going to get as well a chest mount just to have so i don't know if i'll need both of my hands or what i'm going to need like i said it's really up in the air about everything but we just try to get all the gear that we can to document this as best as possible so gopros waterproof it's a hurricane it's a flood it makes sense that <laughs> We get some waterproof cameras. Okay guys, we got everything that we needed at the camera store, that's good. We're about to go into REI to get waterproof backpacks, water shoes, potentially wetsuits, life jackets, everything that we're gonna need to really get in there and get down and dirty. In the thick of it, guys, I tweeted, I literally tweeted five minutes ago and have had 300 DMs 
about people who help, need help, know people, know people to help in Houston. So there's already been an overwhelming amount of support and feedback from you guys, which I'm so glad about. It's crazy how it can go from an idea earlier today to a full scale plan that we are executing and so many people are hopping on board and helping us. This is amazing. So let's get everything that we need at REI. Okay, so getting things we need here, just got a pair of sandals because we're gonna be underwater, literally. Like we don't know what's under the water, like at all. Like the water is gonna be dirty and things are getting flooded. So it's gonna be glass, everything. So we got shoes to protect the feet. We got some reflective vests so people know that obviously we're here to help. We are not the enemy, we are here to help. So we got some reflective vests, got some shoes. Might be grabbing a rain jacket, but other than that, I don't know, I think we're ready to rock, dude. It's getting serious, it's setting in. I'm getting an overwhelming amount of text messages messages, DMs, emails, comments everywhere. But you guys just trying to help. So this is amazing and I can't wait to see how much this builds from here. So let's keep rocking. Okay guys, so today's not even the day I'm supposed to be vlogging, but we have decided we are doing this whole thing. You saw me getting ready earlier today. We are going for it. We are seriously going for it. We are driving to Houston. We are leaving in like an hour. Jake is gonna meet me at my house and then we're gonna take off from here. But guys, it's serious. Like. I've been I'm watching Twitter. People are saying right now that Twitter is a better way to get saved than calling 911 because the police are so busy. So what I'm thinking is that we have just as much power as the police and the authorities do to save people. Like if we can get out there and make it happen, then we can make it happen. So we're gonna try to bring all the resources we can on our own. We're gonna try to bring as much food rations and water as we can for everyone. And on top of that, you know, our manpower and see what we can do to help people and get in there on the ground floor and save people. As well as the merch that we're dropping and all of that is gonna go to helping the cause. I think the shirts look really cool. They're for a really good cause. This is no money in our pockets. We make zero dollars off of these shirts. They're all going to the cause to help the people who have been displaced or you know, injured or anything like that from Hurricane Harvey. So it's amazing that we're able to let you guys get involved by if you wanna purchase one of those shirts, then you know that your money is gonna to go to a good cause and you, hey, you might get a cool t-shirt out of it too. So I'm getting ready, I'm getting packed. Like, ah, I don't know what to pack, survival gear. What, what is hurricane weather like? I don't know, I'm in a shorts and a t-shirt. Is it gonna be cold, is it gonna be hot? I don't know, I've already gotten so many tweets, text messages and everything from you guys just expressing the things that are wrong, the problems, what you guys need help with and it's amazing and we wanna help with everything that we can. So I'm gonna finish packing and then we're gonna get ready to head out. We're gonna get ready to take this thing head on. We're gonna drive through the night. It's like a 20 hour drive to Houston and then we'll be there at some point tomorrow. And yeah guys, this is real, it's a big deal. One last beautiful sunset to send me off before I take off. Absolutely beautiful, Hollywood. It's getting real guys, all right, let's pack. Hey Nathan, I'm going to face the storm, bro. All right, be safe. I don't want you dying out there. Remember and what I told uh, you about my girlfriend? If anything happens, you better take care of her. Right? I will. Love you. Love you too. Bro, serious, it's kind of a big deal, bro. It's, yo, because something bad could really happen. Like, look, it's I'm not going to. I'm tearing up right now because honestly, like, I'm scared. Like, I really. It's not going to, but it could. It's good. It's a real possibility that we're facing by even going into these conditions. Yeah. We're gonna spread so much awareness to this cause. It's gonna be amazing. All right, Nathan, take it All easy, bro. You love can you, sleep bro. in my bed. Okay. Love you, man. Remember, wash some sheets. Ooh. <laughs> All right, here we are. We're about to bounce. Jake and Thomas have pulled up in the truck. Are you ready, bro? Oh man. Hey, wait a minute, no one said Thomas was driving. All right, I'm out. Yeah, hurricanes, not as dangerous as Thomas driving. Just kidding, Whoa, I trust you. Like All right, truck is packed up. We are ready to go. Well, we are on the road. <laughs> Hope you boys showered, because it might be your last one for a while. No, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, we're making jokes now because we haven't left LA, but uh, 20 hours later. All right, guys, let's hit the road. We got a long journey ahead of us. Oh, 621. And that is the sun. The sun is officially coming up. I'm going to be honest and tell you that I've been sleeping most of the time. I'm going to be honest, there's a drool puddle on my right shoulder. <laughs> hey, that's fine. That's fine. My leg of driving hasn't came yet, but I am stoked that my leg of driving is gonna occur during daylight. Wipe the drool off your face, kids, good morning. Time for a nice nutritious breakfast. Yeah! <laughs> S'mores Pop-Tarts! Perfect! No better way to start your day than with sugar and sugar! It's literally getting lighter <laughs> since you started vlogging. <laughs> It's brighter since I started, like look at it. Delirium may or may not be setting in. I'm not sure what these feelings are that I'm feeling for you. I thought the Rockies would be more rockier than this. That John Denver's full of shit, man. <laughs> what are you saying, John? <laughs> what? If anyone has any idea what movie reference has anything that that was, please insert the clip. Huh. I expected the Rocky Mountains to be a little rockier than this. I was thinking the same thing. 
That John Denver's full of shit, man. <laughs> they went the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, Chad validated himself, but I still didn't understand the reference. Oh, let's keep trucking! Everyone's putting key working on the phone for boats, boat or something. jet skis, any water device we were trying to find <clears throat> to become mobile in these treacherous conditions. All right, let's keep on trucking. There's only one way to go. Straight. All right, guys, we are officially in Texas, which means a few things. One, that means that we're in Texas. That's for sure. That's yeah, for sure a fact. That's a good one. But it also means that we are approaching the destination. Well, not really. Texas is absolutely huge. So, but what it does mean is that we have already sent out tweets. We are having a meetup tonight. Well, a supply meetup tonight in San Antonio where we have arranged U-Hauls that we are going to fill with waters, pillows, blankets, and life jackets. And that is going to take place in San Antonio, which is three hours from Houston. So we're gonna get all of that tonight, fill the trucks tonight, and then depending on timeline, we might leave tonight slash stay the night and then leave early tomorrow morning. And then the goal also is to get some type of water vehicle today slash vehicle. So whether that's a boat, pontoon boat, fishing boat, or a couple of sea dews something that we can travel on water with to actually be in there physically rescuing people. So we are on the road, let's keep trucking. Hi guys, we stopped in El Paso for breakfast, just El Paso and through. The breakfast place was pretty whack. I wish we would have El Pasoed on it. <laughs> Woo. I'm gonna steal a clip from Jake's vlog because the most Texas thing possibly ever happened at breakfast. Kate is a vegan and so Texas is not the place for him. We should have like, El Paso on this place. They were like, yo, you want some potatoes? I was like, I can have potatoes. They're like, you want a little butter on it? I was like, I know it's not vegan, but we'll have a little butter. <laughs> Turns out, this is butter soup. Oh, shit. The amount of butter that was put on these potatoes, it was like butter soup. Literally butter soup. I tell you what, you're gonna wanna subscribe to this channel. You don't want an El Paso on this one. <laughs> Okay guys, Texas jokes aside, we're about to get back on the road. We have like another four, five, six, seven hours till we get to San Antonio. So more road tripping, more car shenanigans. That's what we're all about here. Yeah, so let's get rolling. Guys, these are like military vehicles. Um, for sure commuting to Houston, like 100%. That's like one of three separate convoys we've seen. I saw one carrying a gas tank. We've seen big troop carrier trucks, just Hummers, Jeeps, everything like military fully decked out. So they're for sure on the same highway that we are, which is a highway on our way to Houston. And look at cases of water in the back of this one, if you guys can see. It's serious, guys. Serious situation in Houston. We ran out of gas. What? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's one mile away. Downhill. Downhill. Oh, we got we it. We got it. We're on the road again. We're gonna coast on into town. They said we were going to help people, but now we're the ones that need help. At least it's downhill, guys. I mean, we ain't making it. Well, a little status update, guys. We ran out of gas. I'm not, we're, I'm not necessarily worried. I'm kind of overplaying so this. Thing. You sons of a gun. This is how we do it in Ohio. We got full gas here. We're all good. So we're not actually stranded. We're just temporarily slowed down. Go guys, I think we'll be fine. We got gas. It's a temporary speed bump on the way there. Guys, on the upside, we are almost there. How many hours does GPS say? 12 more. 12 more. Y'all thought we didn't jam this anymore. Don't sleep on us! 100 million views strong! We just got to point one, which is San Antonio. San Antonio is important for two reasons. One, this is where we're doing the meetup at Walmart for the supplies with the fans, with you guys later. And two, for this exact reason. Guys, we came here and got just got these. These are going to be, I mean, essentially our rescue vehicles. We thought that these would be the fastest, most mobile way to get around in, in these conditions. I mean, obviously jet skis are very fast. I'm not saying we're gonna be speeding around, but what I am saying is that we're gonna be able to get into tight spaces. There's at least room for three people on here. I mean, in emergency situations, a lot more than three, four even. Now we have the jet skis, which are on the back of the truck. And now we just have to make it to the U-Haul place before they close so we can pick up two U-Haul trucks and then go meet you guys at Walmart and fill those bad boys uh, chock full with supplies. Okay guys, so we just got to the U-Haul place and look behind me, here's our truck. Just kidding, we got two. Here's another truck. The Team 10 Army is gonna show out. I really feel like we can fill these bad boys up. I think your boy's gonna get to whip this puppy. <laughs> guys, I really feel like we can fill these up. Maybe I'm just being optimistic, but I don't know. Like The combined power of you guys coming together, meeting us at Walmart, Walmart having all the supplies we need, 
We're gonna buy every case of water that Walmart even has. Yeah, I don't know what to expect. I'm just like, I just wanna help. Yeah, bro, it's like, we're all, we're, it's really starting to set in now that we have like the gear, the trucks, like the nerves are setting in. Again, we still have, really have no idea what to expect. You guys are with us for the journey regardless, so let's see what's popping next. Woo! Big girl! Oh, sh we're on the road! Excuse me, sir. Big U-Haul coming through. Excuse me. Like that was it was like 20 minutes ago. We got news that there are over 700 people here at a Walmart in San Antonio. All right, let's get to Walmart. All right, guys. There's the Walmart sign. Uh, I really don't know what to expect. Oh my God! There's so many people. <laughs> guys, this is unsafe. They're getting on the jet skis. Oh my God! This is not safe. The army is so strong. Guys, this is absolutely insane. Your support is truly overwhelming. Truly, truly, truly. We just got here. It's absolutely nutty. So many people want to help. The fan love is absolutely insane. You guys are amazing. Together, we are going to save all of Houston. Like, look at this. Okay guys, so quite some time has passed, but basically what happened is both of these trucks got completely chock full. They got so chock full that we could not even drive them. Like they literally were over capacity. We filled these trucks so much that driving them here was completely dangerous. We are unloading them in San Antonio. I'm at the San Antonio Food Bank right now and they're gonna transport them for us to Houston. They're so kind and amazing to do that for us, but here we are guys. We are about to unload these puppies. Oh man, it's got a lot of work. Let's get it popping. Dripping sweat, hello. Okay, so as you guys saw before, the trucks are completely full. Now look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm tired. <laughs> Just as a frame of reference, we left Los Angeles, took turns driving here, slept intermittently, like maybe a couple hours at best. Had what you would call a meetup or donation, which was absolute chaos in the best way because you guys came out with overwhelming support. We filled both these trucks to the brim, emptied them all the way, the help of all of these amazing people, of course. And now all of it's getting transported to Houston. And the last thing to transport to Houston is us. us. <laughs> and a couple of jet skis. Okay guys, so this is an end to what was an absolutely crazy day, two days. I haven't slept, I've eaten minimal food, just bags of potato chips and terrible gas station snacks that are not sustainable in any way, shape or form. But that is where I'm gonna end this vlog. I'm actually not gonna go to bed, so technically I really could just keep filming. In the next vlog clip you see tomorrow, Hopefully I can upload tomorrow. We'll be in Houston. Probably be starting in the next like couple hours from right this very moment. So it's really just kind of one long day that I'm deciding to cut up into different days. Thank you guys for rocking me. This is an absolutely surreal experience. It's just starting. We've already had so many challenges that we've had to overcome on this trip and it's been amazing just to begin to, to start to overcome some of the small problems that we have and realizing that they amount to nothing compared to what we're gonna encounter tomorrow. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe. I'm working hard to make these videos amazing for you guys. Comment below Below, what you'd like to see more of or less of i'm always reading the comments you guys' feedback is so important to me and i value it very highly and i do read all the comments so do not feel afraid to comment and last but not least guys make sure you watch tomorrow because it's only getting better bro peace guys this is unsafe they're getting on the jet skis oh my god this is not safe the army is so strong